right hello everybody i thought i'd do um to show you what i was doing with these i can't show you the picture of the atc coin i done because it's already gone away um but this is based on the sort of things that i tend to do with my backdrop papers so i'll post um junk in the trunk 11 and it shows you where i've sort of inked up the background while i've been working and things like that so I tend to then just punch a load of things out, okay, which I've done these butterflies, which was the um, EK Success Punch. I mean, I've got dies as well, but for ease of use, I just I just use this. Um, so I punched those out. I've punched out loads of circles for the, the coins, which I use two and a half inch. So they were all from the backdrop. So I've done that. Then I punched out. I sort of go down in size. I start with that. Then I'll go to the butterflies. Then I will go a smaller again to the little flowers. And then even the little flower there. And I've even got a smaller butterfly. But to be honest, that is too small for me. But it would still look nice on these. But it's just a bit too small for me to, you know. This is... This flower, what size is it? Oh my gosh, it's tiny. Um, across the petals there, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so what, well, it's under half an inch. <laughs> under half an inch, all right? <laughs> and this one here is just over half an inch, all right? So that is the size of those. Um, two pound from, you know, very cheap punches. I think they are two pound from um, range. I got those. Sorry. So, yeah. So I go down in sizes and then what's left, you know, I punch out the little bits. And so here are my flowers that I punched out, which I'm going to show you how to work those a little bit because they're a little bit flat as they are okay and then you know i sort of just shape them a bit you don't want them to shape them too much because you know they've still got to lay flat on the embellishment so yeah that's the little ones that i made that is based on paula folders ones that she done but i've done them with either a bit of tissue paper and postage stamps because i've got a load of these you know the british ones and they fit the paper clips really well which they are the size of those paper clips are an inch okay so yeah quite diddy all of it but I think they're very cute yeah and then just put the dangle on so I'll show you how to make those but first of all I'll show you how to um, do the flower to shape the flower because I know there's some newbies out there that don't know how to do that. I used to do all this sort of thing when it was card making years ago because all the embellishments were so expensive. We used to make our own. So that's all those. And I think they've turned out really well. A minute. I'm going to do a closer view because I know they're small. So I mean, I can't go any nearer. And I'll pick them up on the paper show you there we go okay so that is those put them over there a minute right and also if you haven't got a backdrop page this is what I, you know paper that I use you know use your old I've got loads of car back car um, from making mini albums, got loads of scrapbook paper, and here's some. I thought they would be nice actually because they're going to go with like the postage stamp. So, I'm going to do cut the flowers out of that. Oh, I usually go that way, I think they would look quite nice. Okay. 
and I usually fill this up and do them all together. So the first thing I do is do the paper clips because they can dry and everything while you're making the flowers. So to make more efficiency of your time. Right. And you've seen me do these. Oh, I'll post them um, Paula Forder's video too below. They're definitely inspired from her. I'll just do a couple. Oh, husband's walked <laughs> in the garden. <laughs> I'll tell you. It's like a timer or an alarm. As soon as I do a video, the hose comes out. <laughs> I'll just stick three down. And I use Mod Podge for this because I actually cover them as well. I need to come over here a bit. I'll just put a little bit in the lid for now. <laughs> a little bit. Oh well. <laughs> a lot. Okay. I have to clean that out or else I'll glue the lid, to, glue the lid on, won't I? Oh, do you know, I'm not having a good day today at all. We've had phone problems. My daughter's phone is... Oh, she said it was, um, what can I say? It just stopped working through the night. No, you spilt something on it because it blew the plug because I tried to tried to charge it and it wouldn't charge. So I know what she's done, water damage. Um, and my son has cracked his screen front and back in the same week. Yeah, one I can't claim on the insurance because only had a new phone three months ago on insurance because he smashed it up and ruined the camera and all that so I can't claim again and I wouldn't anyway so they're going to have to pay for it themselves this time because they have to learn so I've had to order a new phone for my daughter which luckily she's not a phone I call it a phone snob <laughs> she, she's quite happy with you know a lower version of the iPhone 6s X, which is absolutely um oh i was going to do that first sorry um quite old now so yeah i've not had a good week and then i tried to pay someone this morning on paypal and because i have my daughter's got my phone i had to do it on the ipad then it wanted me to verify and uh, i had to change then get my daughter to change the sim back into mine so i could get the code oh it's been a nightmare and then it kept saying pending all the time and i'm like I've got money in my PayPal account. Why is it pending? So I've cancelled, cancelled it, and I said he has to invoice me now because it's not going through. Very odd. But anyway, so I thought, right, I'm going to go in my studio now. I've had enough. Yeah, so I'll just wrap that around a little bit, and then I'll. Sort of glue it on really try and make it look too uh, square you know and yeah, then I'll glue over the whole thing and that'll do right then like that I'll just do one more do blue one, I think. So I put a bit of glue on both sides. I should have a little bit of overhang there to fold. Like that. And then I turn over while holding that and then oh, glue there, put there. Let's give it a squeeze. And then I'll paint over the whole thing with glue. <laughs> right, 
There we go. Okay. So they can go dry in. All right, I'll just sort out this glue. All right, let's sort out the little flowers. I do ink them. I use tea stain. I use that one. Okay. I've already inked up my sponge. And I will just literally do the edges. And I'll do all those like that. I won't do them all now, but that's what I do. But I usually have this filled up anyway. I say these are very dinky. Here we go. I won't worry too much about those. Just, just showing you what I've done. So. Okay, so that's what I do there. Then I use one of these. I used to, um, oh, I've got, all, I've got the whole set, the orange ones as well. I mean, it's got set really big. That's the Tonic Studio one. They do a nice one. That one's good. The smaller size of that massive one. But this is, let's have a look. It's, yeah, it's about the same size, that one. So that's the 8 mil, which is quite big. Okay, but I find I like to work, it's like, quite big because I don't want to actually shape each petal and I just use circular mat this is a um, piece of sponge you can do it on um, a mouse mat if you've got a gel one it's pretty good uh, I got a bit of sponge here and then all you do is just give them a bit of shape I might use a smaller one again which is the five mil for that And sort of go up towards the petal as well it, it breaks down the card a bit and they become sort of like I don't know they start to move and you can create some really lovely flowers like this again I'm not really bothered about shaping each petal or anything like that. There we go. So you can keep going and they literally would come right inside, right up. I'm not really worried, like I say, I'm not worried about that. Okay, but that gives, gives them all a little bit of shape. Yeah, and you can do it with all different coloured cards and things like that. But like I say, I just thought I'd, I'll do it with um, the backdrop. Which are those ones. That's it. Okay, and then I just get some stick-on gems. I stick them in the middle and that's my little flower. But I'll, I'll do it for an hour, if you know what I mean. And I'll do, you know, 100, 100 of these. Let's so get them all done together. And then... Okay. Okay, so all you need for the next bit, so you can decorate them like this, is the little flower and the I, oh that that button goes on in a minute. Little flower and a bit of lace. That's all I use. So I put these on the front, and I tend to do it off centre. glue on and tiny weeny bit of lace <laughs> snippet of a snippet Oop. 
to say, it's quite fiddly. My um, fine motor skills are not so good as they used to be, but this sort of thing does help, even though, you know, it's quite hard sometimes. And then I'll put a little bit of glue on there. And I'll place that off centre. I mean, you can do it with tweezers. That's what I, I've got found them at long last. Okay, and you can place them easier to place like that. And then let that go. That's it. That's that one. I'll just bring that up. I'm hoping you can see it because the sun is shining on my cam on my bit that I look at. So there we go. And now I, then I put a dangle on the bottom. Okay. And I need a smaller ring. Here we go. Oh, actually, I've got a dangle that's already done. I usually break up old jewellery and different things. I've got a little I've got a little coin there. And then I'll put a jump ring on the top of that one. So what I'll do, I'll leave that one to dry. We've got another one with a flower on. Uh, no, we haven't, so I'll do that one. I'll just be a bit careful because it's not dry yet. And I'll open the jump ring. Hold on with that one. And I always go away from me. So I'll hold that one and I'll go away to open it. make sure it's the right way so so I'm pointing it towards me like that it, the flower might come off mind because it's not dry yet like that and then I'll close towards me and just give a little wiggle right so, okay and that should dangle the right way then Okay, that's that one done. So what I'll do, I'll put that one over there. And I'll use one that's dry. Okay, that's it. Right, so now I get one of the ball pin things, garment pins. Let's put the glue. Okay, I hold it in my right hand and open it that way. Why I do that is because of the way I place things. All right, so I put the button on first and I put the back facing me or put on the front. So it's almost like going back to front. There, then I put the flower on or the paper clip. Again, put on front first, front facing, yeah. Then a little bit of lace. Yeah, shut it up. And there you have it. A little dangle. Okay. And they look so pretty. Right. So that's all I do there. I'm just going to move all that out of the way. I thought I would carry on and do my artist trading coin. All right, so what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to go and stitch all around this one. All right, well, I might do a couple actually. Do that one as well. I'll do it two at the same time. Okay, so what I've done now is I've stitched around and then I inked around those three. Yeah, and then I cut out some book pages three layers there okay and these are going to go the butterfly is going to go on the top yeah like so and then I shall pick how I want that to go and put a bit of lace on like so just to see where I want it and I'll just give it a bend like that and I'm going to stitch that on there 
and I want my butterfly sort of coming off the edge a little bit so about there so then I pick that up together and I just go and stitch down the middle okay and then I go from the top to the bottom and then back to the top again and then that gives me some antennas all right so I'm going to do that with three because I'm going to make three of those okay oh and those and I'll see you in a minute okay I've stitched those together all right so I work out now where you know which way this looks best Okay, so they're sort of going to go, um, I think, sort of there, because I'm going to have um, a grommet here somewhere, slightly off, about 11 o'clock I usually do it, and then it will sort of dangle down a bit in the right place instead of sort of dangling this way. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stick those on first. Leave that to dry. Let's put a hole in there. I'm just going to mark it because that is. <laughs> won't be marking it with that, will I? But it broke. <laughs> okay. So that is my 12 o'clock. So yeah, right, right by there, really. So I'll just put a little pencil mark there. Get that out of the way. about there just holding that on because it's not quite dry about there. put the grommet in one of those oh I might put a ring on that one actually thinking about it so I'm gonna take that off of there I'm gonna use a ring Got a bigger one here. I've no idea what size they are, though. Let's look. They usually do it in mill, don't they? I'd say, I would say six mil. Lace on, it's quite holy, so saying that. That's it. Then that, and then the button. Okay, then I'm going to slip that on there. Let's hold it. Like that. 
that. Hold it again. And then close it up. Just need to wiggle a little bit. Okay, yep. And then it doesn't quite dangle so low. I quite like that. Because that's about where I want it to dangle. All right. That. I should could have done with a bit smaller button, sort of, yeah, that's all right. I might change that later, just a smaller button because it's, you know, covering up the flower there, which is a shame. All right, now I'm going to use, put it on with something a bit bright. I haven't got any blue, oh, there's a blue wing one, because I thought it'd look nice like that. A little bit of lace. Snip it lace. Stick it down a bit. Just hold it there for a second. Okay, and then put some words along there. Yeah, so that's the sort of top really, and I like the way that goes sort of to the side, and then we'll have some yeah, some words here. Tim Holtz words or something down the bottom. Right, I'll go ahead and do the other two and then I'll come back. Right, let's put some words. I'm going to put lift the moment on that one. Oh, a little bit black on that, don't that. Just dull that down a bit. Alright, uh, I'm going to level up straight with the right end, so just put a bit of glue under the lace there. It's about right, I think. Yeah, I might. Should have put it on the back really, I usually do, I don't know why I didn't then. <laughs> no idea why I didn't. Like that, and I've, oh, I've got a little, I haven't put the sequin on yet. I'm just I'm not sure where I want it because I've got quite a nice little bit of blue there on that one. That's, I did change the button, but it's, that's it. Let's have a look. About there, I think. it and get glue on a sequin because you really notice is let's get another one hundreds of them if not thousands my fingers have got sticky now there there we go all done and there's the other ones. Okay. Life is good. Live in the moment, find joy in the ordinary, and life is good. There we go. And that's all those done. So I'll just bring that one up closer so you can see. Just in case. There we go.
and that's the artist trading cards done okay well thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed that little process video and i'll speak to you soon bye bye